Hey there football fans, welcome back to Soccer News Center. We've got some shocking news to share with you today. The Football Association, FA, has suspended one of its council members, Wasim Hack, following a highly offensive post he made comparing Benjamin Netanyahu to Adolf Hitler. Hack, who is also a member of the Lawn Tennis Association, LTA, and England Golf Board, has faced swift action from both organizations as well. The investigation into his conduct is currently underway, and he has been relieved of his duties pending the outcome of the process. English football's anti-discrimination watchdog, Kick It Out, has expressed its concern and is awaiting the outcome of the FA's review. They emphasized the importance of being cautious when using social media, especially during heightened emotions and sensitive situations like the ongoing events in the Middle East. Lord Wolfson of Tredegar KC, chairman of the Football Regulatory Authority, has also expressed his dismay over Hack's post, calling it unacceptable. The FA and LTA have both criticized the post and deemed it highly offensive. In response, Hack has deleted the tweet and apologized for causing offense. He has rejected any suggestion of being anti-Semitic and explained that his intention was to compare two individuals who, in his eyes, have caused harm to victimized communities. However, Lord Wolfson has pointed out that Hack's explanation may also be in breach of FA rules. This is not the first controversy surrounding Israel-related posts within the FA. Just weeks ago, another council member, Deji Davies, faced backlash for historic tweets about boycotting Israel. Davies deleted the tweets and issued a statement expressing his commitment to learning and promoting peace and unity. Hack's offensive post was discovered by a campaign group called Nasha Jew, which uses open-source intelligence to uncover anti-Semitism. They have called for Hack's removal from his positions at the FA, LTA, and England Golf, referring to him as a disgrace. As tensions continue to rise in the Middle East, it is crucial for everyone, especially those in positions of leadership and influence, to be mindful of their words and the potential impact they can have. Let's hope that the FA's investigation brings about a fair and just resolution to this incident. That's all for now, football fans. Stay tuned for more updates from Soccer News Center. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Until next time, take care and keep enjoying the beautiful game of football.